earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. One thing you must be careful is living where God has put you. God is not going to look around for where he didn't send you to send your provision. He is not going to look around to send you. In the prodigal son that went with uh, the, the father's uh, money, his own portion, and he went for riotous living. The father's heart yearned for him there and now he didn't leave the house to go and look for him. He waited for him to come back. But when he came back, the father met him with such an enthusiasm. Don't leave where God has planted you. This is no time to joke with divine joy. Many people have died because they left the place where God put their provision. Many people have dried up because they left the place where God has, has put them and has assigned them. This is the time to be accurate in your church join. Every time you are not in God, where he puts you, the devil takes you farther away from provision, farther away from protection, farther away from every good thing of life. And some people have gone too far and they have become too dry and they're hanging like that. They don't even know who can help them. But thank God I bring you good news today. God can help you. Don't be a lot. Genesis chapter 13. Look at Lot. Lord took a disadvantageous decision, a decision of disadvantage, by leaving where the place of divine joining, the place of divine joining. When God told you to do two hours prayer every day, anything that will separate you from that two hour prayer is going to is going to is going to program you for failure. When the Holy Ghost come ahead, you go, when you wake up in the morning, the Holy Spirit is welling up worship. Just yield to the worship and worship. That's how we go. Don't ever forget. I will not leave you as sufferers. I will come to you. So, and that coming to you is to program you for victory at every battle point. So you don't violate his contributions. Don't violate the contributions of God in your life. In Genesis chapter 13 now. Let me pick it from verse uh, 7 and read some few verses there. And look at it. He said, And there was strife between the hard men of Abram's cattle and the hard men of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanites and the Perizzites dwelled in the land. Then in the land. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. It's a good advice for you on time. Anywhere God has put you. It is not time to be having any quarrel there. You know, you have heard me many times. We say there is not, there is hardly anything that we do that will offend me. Not that it's perfect. Not that flesh doesn't want flesh. But a wise Holy Ghost field and Holy Ghost like child, we know where you don't get angry, where you don't allow strife. God told you and said, join that church. Join this, um, what is it called? Join this chariot. And after six years or six months, and eh, one deacon did this, and eh, one brother did You must know where you don't take offense. To. You must know where you don't permit strife. You must know where you don't permit strife. If you don't, there is that devil knocking, knocking your door and stalking your feet. To do one, to take you, to lure you away. The devil's job is to just make sure he can. He may not be able to. He can I, I engineer programs. Just the Holy Ghost has programs, so he can do programs for unbelievers for them to run, so that they can get further and further away into darkness. But for a child of God, he can engineer things for you like that. But he can lure you from the program that God has put to program you. Just lure you away from me. And once you are lured away from me, easy to catch. May you never be easy to catch for the enemy. Stay where God has put you. I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget, read your Bible to know God more.